there guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel to my lovely subscribers if you're new here hello to you this is your girl mommy so true thank you for being here today thank you for tuning in to another episode of exposing narcissism with your girl mommy so true oh man i just have to share this story today and let it be a bold big freaking example of how bad and how intensely the narcissist wants to just kill, steal, and destroy you. Don't let this be your story. This is why I'm so passionate on educating and spreading the word and exposing what narcissism, what narcissists, and exposing what this is, what it looks like. Not just talking about it, but looking at it because we all know somebody in these toxic relationships. It's not just toxic. You're married to a narcissist, sis. You're, you're, you're dating a narcissist, bro. Your cousin is dealing with a narcissist. You might need to tell them. You might need to save their life because they might not make it just like this woman who I'm going to talk about today, just like this relationship we're going to talk about today. So many people are not going to make it into next year. So many people's lives have already ended because of a narcissist. Too many empaths are ignoring too many red flags and we have to start paying attention. We have to start paying attention and, and becoming alert and healing our wounds so that we're not falling victim and prey to these monsters, to these villains, they're out here and they're looking, they're working mighty hard. Mighty hard. We've got to toughen up our hearts, empaths. We're such lovers, we're so given, we give so much sometimes, we give more than we, we, we can even afford. We hurt ourselves by giving, wanting to help and fix people. We're marrying the most undeserving people. The narcissist has three goals, to kill, steal, and destroy. That's why they all operate with the same playbook. They're all doing the same thing. The phases and the cycle of the abuse is the same. Today, we're talking about why it's important to run why it's important to get away, why it's important to not just leave, but escape a narcissist. In today's episode, I'm sharing the tragic story of Alicia Lofton. Alicia Lofton was married to a narcissist who turned out to be a down low narcissist. And if you know what down low means, it means they get down low. They do the dirty in they dirty, dirty area with you know yeah with all type of people down lows are having sex with trannies they having sex with other gay people bisexuals i mean they're doing it with everybody and a lot of narcissists are hiding that secret it's like they're ashamed of it and because of that so many people are doomed in relationships with narcissists it's, it's a scary thought to know how much it's actually happening, but I'm so happy that I have an example to show the world because I've talked about this before. And if you're interested in watching my video where I talk about the down low narcissist, the information is in the, the description box below. One thing's for certain, every narcissistic relationship starts out the same. Love bombing, even though it happens differently a little bit. Some narcissists make it fast. Some take their time. The phase and the cycles are the same. Let's look at how it all started for Miss Alicia Lofton. This is the story of Alicia Lofton, a beautiful mother of three who was gunned down by her newly wedded husband, Marcus Lofton. 
Few months into their marriage, Alicia served him divorce papers after she found evidence that he was having affairs with other men. A day after he got the divorce papers, he lost his cool and could no longer hold it together anymore, he got so upset with her for trying to break up with him then tracked her down, took her gun from her then shot her with it. Grand Rapids, Michigan Grand Rapids is a city located on the Grand River about 40 miles east of Lake Michigan. Grand Rapids is the second largest city in Michigan, it is often referred to as Furniture City, the vibrant and thriving city located in the western part of the state. Known for its strong economy, rich history, and diverse culture, Grand Rapids has established itself as a sought-after destination for both residents and visitors alike. Alicia Danielle Lofton was a beautiful mother of three, she loved her kids to the fullest. She was said to be a high-spirited woman who always loved and cared for everyone around her. She made people laugh and she was just a great person overall to be around according to her family members. Her son just graduated from high school, he was on his way to Grand Valley while her oldest daughter is in her last year of college, her last daughter is in high school getting ready to graduate too. They loved her so much and she loved them too. Alicia was someone who believed in love, she wanted to be married and wanted to be a great wife. Alicia had been in a relationship with a young man named Marcus Lofton. Here's where I'm going to start. <laughs> he was hitting her so bad with the pillow, the dog jumped in. Did this video start with them showing us a clip of him saying, I am a narcissist. Good morning. So, <laughs> so when I say these people are prideful and prideful, proud demons you see what i'm saying you see what i'm talking about when i say these people know who they are and what they are especially in today's time it's 2023 every narcissist on this earth knows that knows they are a damn narcissist first and foremost he's a proud narcissist that means his intentions were never pure. It's not, it's just totally came to kill, steal, and destroy. To steal her happiness, to literally kill her, which we'll get to, and destroy her family. Her children are left without a mother. A great one, it looks like she was. This woman was full of light. It sounds like she was an empath. Based on the brief description, people loved being around her. She's beautiful. Inside and out, apparently. This explains when I've told you guys and what so many of survivors and thrivers out there know, so many educated empaths now know that we are targets for narcissists. You heard them. She wants to be a lover. She's always believed in love. She wanted to be married. A lot of us are like that. We're like that. We thought we met our love partners and we've become NPD warriors. It is so important to know how to handle narcissists because they will kill you. When you discover you're dealing with a narcissist, 
what you don't want to do is make it obvious that you're leaving them. You need to just leave them. And a lot of people say, that's not the easiest thing to do. That's not easy to do. Listen, when it's life or death, there can be a way made out of no way. A lot of times we allow material things, possessions, and just being comfortable where we are. To stay in the environment that's hurting us. Narcissists do not want you to leave them. They do not want you to divorce them. They need you. Even though they treat you like they don't need you. They need you so bad. It's just so sad that they don't know how to keep you around. But that is their narcissistic problem, not yours. I'm happy it says that she served him divorce papers. But I'm sad. I'm sad that things turned out the way that it turned out. I have changed the beginning of my title. That brief clip of him not taking accountability or accepting his own character. The computer, the technology told him he has an attitude problem. He couldn't even take the truth. He couldn't stand that. That pissed him off so bad. You're dealing with a narcissist. You're dealing with a monstrous, demonic being who absolutely hates themselves so much. Their energy is so demonically negative, black, dark. She couldn't even enjoy playing a game with him in the comfort of her home without being abused. But this man is literally trying to slap her brains out with that pillow. He did not have to hit her that hard. Intentions, purely evil. Zero empathy, completely selfish, completely wicked. And being an empath, you see what she did? Just laughing it off. You could tell she's not okay with it. It doesn't feel good, but we normalize little things like that. Just laugh it off and just continue with the relationship. And then to the world, we got to keep that smile. Let everyone believe it's okay. We're helping everybody else. But at home, this is what you're coming home to. And we're seen almost as a power couple. <laughs> They got married sometimes in February of 2023. Families and friend attended their wedding and it was a joyous day for her. They enjoyed every single moment and loved every bit of it. The union of Mr. and Mrs. Lofton. Just like a narcissist, it's all about image. At home you're being abused, but to everybody else you look like this power couple. You look like the cutest couple. You're matching outfits. You're going out all the time. He opens doors for you. He sings for you. He writes music for you. Treats you like a queen. Treats you like a king outside. In front of people. Certain people. But it's not real. Everything is so magical. But yet so fake. Everything feels so amazing. The hive is just so high. 
but then the low is extremely low. Just like every other narcissistic relationship, there are a lot of great moments, a lot. This is what makes it heartbreaking when you do have to leave, when you do have to give up on your marriage, when you do have to sign those divorce papers. But once you see what's in front of you, there's no unseeing it. It's all about radically accepting it and finding a way to escape before it's too late. Not too long into the marriage, trouble started emerging, Marcus was posting weird things on Facebook. In one of his posts, he said, if you ever get locked up, you might as well cancel your relationship and sleep peacefully my dog. These people is embarrassing. He would go ahead to post some other crazy things to Facebook. <laughs> After a while, Alicia got a hint that his new husband is having an affair with a guy. She went ahead to confront him which he denied but she showed him all the receipts she has then proceeded in filing for divorce. She stated some of her concerns too on her Facebook post before her page was deactivated. She also went live talking about it according to some people who follow her. Alicia served Marcus divorce papers on August 16th of 2023 and also told him she was selling the house. On August 17th, Marcus went to the house to have a chat with Alicia even though he had been arrested in May for domestic violence against his wife who he wasn't supposed to be in contact with in any capacity, but he did anyways. Upon arriving at the house a day after he was served divorce papers, they started arguing about one or two things and one thing led to the other. He grabbed Alicia's gun, a Glock, from a drawer and tried to strike her with it as he usually does during the marriage but the gun went off striking Alicia according to his account. This is the same gun seen in the video of them dancing together earlier. She had it on her waist all throughout the video. Alicia was able to run into a room where she locked herself but Marcus didn't give up. He broke the door then found Alicia trying to climb down a window to escape. He didn't bother to save her but decided to do what he thought was right which was shooting her more and more. He shot her multiple times before he thought it was enough then her jumped into his car and fled. The cops were called to the scene but it was too late. Alicia was pronounced dead at the scene of the crime. Marcus was later apprehended by the police. He would also confess to the crimes and told them how he shot her numerous times. Quickly ruled out any connection in both cases. Wow, y'all. That was a lot. I need to process this. Maybe you guys need a moment too because I'm just like, this is the reality of what we're dealing with in our world. Narcissists are here to kill. This woman's story does something to me because that was literally my life about a year ago. The violence, the projection, the women bashing. 
this demon of a narcissist that I was married to never had nothing good to say about women. That's when I learned the biggest aspect of, of most narcissistic men and women was that they hate, they hate the opposite sex because of their parent. The narcissistic man hates women because he hates his mother. He thinks he loves her, but he doesn't even know what love is because he never got it from her. And he actually really hates her and every woman is now another version of his mother to him. <sighs> to me, that is one of the biggest indications that a narcissist is down low. They do not have nothing good to say about the opposite sex. And a lot of times they don't have nothing good to say about gay people either, even though that's their preference. They act like they hate gay people. They're always making gay jokes. They're always acting like they're so homophobic. But really, they're checking out every guy they walk by with their with their gay lenses, <laughs> their hidden gay lenses. It wasn't because of the divorce that he killed her. It wasn't. That's not what pissed him off. It's the fact that she exposed his secret online. She told the world that he's not who he say he is. This is what they hate. This is why you cannot play games with a narcissist. This is why you need to move smart with a narcissist. Because you think you might be one up in them. You think you might be smart. But the way they're set up, they don't think, they react so foolishly, so quickly that you don't have time to sit around. This is why I say to survive a narcissist is a blessing. It means that there is something destined for you if they did not kill you because people are dying. All over the world, people are dying in the hands of a narcissist. And you can't say that all these people are weak. This woman seems like a very strong and smart woman. And she even did all the necessary things, restraining order, you know, no contact order. She was really trying, but it was too late. Sometimes we stay in these relationships until they're too late. In this relationship, six months was too long. Six months was too long. So sad and so unfortunate, but the truth will always remain that the devil is at work, y'all. Evil does exist on this earth, y'all. Evil is the narcissist, y'all. And they out here killing, stealing, and destroying. Pay attention. And thank you for watching an episode of Exposing Narcissism with Mommy So True. Until next time, stay blessed.